Captain Steve for BoatTest.com and today I'm on a beautiful new boat from Tierra Yachts, the 43LS. It's a remarkable entertainment platform and let me show you just what I mean as we start a full features inspection up in the bow. First off, three across seating just ahead of the console. There are flip down armrests, new upholstery package, and take a look at this flip up footrest. Bring it all the way up and it drops back down again. The seating wraps around and there's storage under both of the side seats and notice how the padded bolsters go all the way around. Fully forward there's a fusion remote, a USB charge port, grab handles, beverage holders. Right under this cushion there's a table. We can take that out, put it in this position on a pedestal and turn this into an alfresco dining area. The high gloss teak table can be a seat for a picnic or cocktails. Fully forward underneath the hatch, there's a Lumar windlass leading to a through the stem anchor roller. Got a polished Lumar anchor, cleat, and a remote control here. And there's another control, of course, at the helm. Notice that the hatch is finished on the underside and it's supported by a gas assist strut. We can further add to the comfort level of this bow area by erecting a Mediterranean sunshade that will be supported on stanchions that go into sockets around the bow and then attaches to the forward edge underneath the hardtop. The stanchions have storage just under the bulwarks and there's still plenty of room for fenders and lines in this area and notice the handrail just at the level of the cap rail goes all the way back to the midship area. For safety, the bulwark height 33 inches. To the port hand side, there's an elevated non-skid deck so you can board from this side. There's a grab handle at the hard top, conveniently located. One of the most important features on this boat, and the most expensive to make, is this full height wraparound compound curved windshield. Note that it's connected to the hard top so no need for Isinglass to keep out the rain. And over to the starboard side, there's a side deck that'll lead us to our next social zone and it has an average width of 17 inches. Really like how Tierra put a lot of thought into this little location here, and it just works so well. It starts with a sink, an electric grill, open counter space, and then just behind, we start with a trash receptacle, and notice that right alongside, there's dedicated storage for the cover to the sink. Drawer, nice wood finish. Two refrigerated drawers. We can make it a refrigerator or freezer or any combination of the two we like and another drawer, and then right here, storage. Just underneath the helm seats is a Yeti cooler. Notice we also have climate controls and air conditioning vents, adding to the comfort level. Tier has provided a 24,000 BTU reverse cycle air conditioning for hot days, and that can be turned into heat when there's a chill in the air. But what I really like about this area is this padded bolster right here. Not so much for being like this and facing the crowd, but when we're underway, it's a great place to sit and enjoy the ride while we're standing up behind all of the seats. With four across seating, the helm certainly becomes yet another social zone. Flip up bolsters all the way across, flip down footrests to both sides. The captain gets two levels of footrests. The helm is populated with two 16 inch Garmin displays. This is also tied into the engine displays. So we have a glass dash, fusion stereo right in the middle, Air conditioning vents, great thing to have at the helm. There are electrical switches going across the bottom and then a small cubby for your cell phone. I like that touch. Beverage holders, digital throttle and shift and JPS, joystick piloting and steering. Look at the steering wheel. Beautiful job matching it to the woodwork. It's also mounted to a tilt base. Trim tab controls right alongside. Bow thruster on the opposite side. In the covered glove box, we not only have the ignitions, but charge ports. The helm seat is extra wide on the center line and is electrically actuated for fore and aft adjustment. Being a short captain, I also love this thoughtful touch. Open that latch and then we can drop down this platform, get you an elevated point of view. This gives you a nine inch elevation. Overhead, opening hatch, skylights, screen, and Blackout shade. There's also a separate vessel view display and a sea keeper control. I also like storage for lines right in the bulwarks. And it closes with this latch here. Let's continue with yet another social zone. 
Wraparound seating in the back has a pedestal table that's on a high-low pedestal so we can make it into a sun pad. And notice I've got full walk-around capability of this seating area. And not only that, I could turn the whole thing so that we can face aft, watch the waves going by in the background, or watch the kids swimming off the stern. Just ahead, there's a bench seat seven feet with floating beverage holder and storage nook. Storage is underneath. We can further add to the enjoyment of this area by utilizing a drop-down TV. And we can add to the comfort with an extendable awning. To the port hand side, there's a dive door. And this can also be used as a boarding gate Ladder goes into position right in the deck there. And I have to say, this is one of the easiest latches I've found. There's a trigger on one side, you squeeze that, and notice that this catch is beveled, so it catches the latch and brings it up to squeeze the door closed. Let's get into some of the mechanical components. Open this up. There's a Glendenning cord reel for the shore power, times two. The switch to activate it is right alongside. And then right in the deck here, one of my favorite features, is a conveniently located mechanical room. From here, I've got easy access to the through hole fittings, water strainers, water pumps, holding tank pumps, 8KW Fisher Panda generator, and just ahead, Seakeeper 6 gyro stabilizer. Let's take a look at the accommodations below. We can sleep four in this cabin, two right here in this berth that measures 80 inches by 54 inches, and then two more in the mid cabin. There's a bench seat over on the port hand side, microwave. The cabin has 6,000 BTUs of reverse cycle air conditioning. And a wet head. We've got 29 inches over the berth. This berth measures 80 inches by 44 inches with 26 inches over the berth. Now, if you choose not to have people sleeping in here, there's a rubberized surface under here that makes this a great storage area. How's this for a power package? Twin 600 horsepower Mercury V12 outboards. Now, we haven't tested this boat, but the design team at Tierra has, and they report that with the twin 600 horsepower Mercury's wound up to 60-55 RPM, the speed topped out at 54.2 miles per hour. Best cruise came in at 45.16 RPM and 38.3 miles per hour. At that speed, the 53.3 gallon per hour fuel burn translated into 0.72 statute miles per gallon and a range of 259 statute miles. Now, with that said, if we increase the speed to 49.97 RPM and 43.9 miles per hour, we're running at a much better speed, but only giving up six statute miles in the range. In acceleration testing, she went from 0 to 30 in 10 seconds. I've long been a big fan of Tierra Yachts. Their motto is, pride of ownership begins with pride in workmanship. And that certainly holds true as we did our tour of the 43 LS. She's got several distinct social zones plus overnighting capability for four. And that's my full features inspection of the 43 LS from Terry Yachts. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.